How's it going everybody? My name's Renga and I wanted to bring y'all along today to show you what it's like to be a camera operator for a Utah football game. So I work with the in-house production team. We do the Jumbotron show that you will see if you're lucky enough to be present at one of these amazing football games that we host. It's kind of similar to what TV production is like, but a little different. So today you'll see footage from two separate games, the Oregon State at Utah game and the USC at Utah game. Both absolutely amazing games, especially the USC game. And I was very lucky to be operating for these games. Good morning, y'all. It is 6.37 a.m. here at uh, Library Track Station, downtown Salt Lake. And uh, getting ready to go on the train. And so I arrive at the stadium, I go and pick up my credentials and we'll be granted access through the staff entrance. And we have all of our broadcast trucks there with all of their equipment. You know, ESPN will come, Pac-12 will come, Fox Sports will come, you name it. And then our gear is closely nearby, but in-house. All credentialed up now. And uh, heading over to the camera. So a little uh, mosey through the stadium, but we'll get there. Once I get to my camera, I will take off the rain gear that we have on it or build the camera if it's not already built for me. Yep. Just like that, got the camera built. So, it's looking good. Got it all adjusted, all the controls in the right spot. So with that, I'll jump into adjusting my controls. We have two control arms. My left arm is controlling the focus knob and my right arm is controlling the zoom handle. With that, there's a bunch of other macro controls on those, but those are the two main functions that we use. And so I can adjust them that way they're ergonomical to my body because I will be standing for hours on end, moving this camera around. And if my hands and arms are in an uncomfortable position, I'm gonna be in an uncomfortable position and I don't want that either. I had to move this out, move my focus knob up more so I can basically claw grip it, kind of. And uh, yeah, she's looking good. Looking good today. We'll start here left to right. So left, we got our focus. So as I turn it, it goes in and out of focus. This my distance right there. So yeah, a little focus knob. You got your zoom, zoom control. Pretty simple. You also got push to talk so I can talk to the crew. You come over here, this is the camera of course, professional broadcast camera. This is our feed, um, power, video feed, audio feed, everything that works. I uh, got a little monitor on top and then this piece is our lens. And uh, yeah, it can, uh, it can zoom in pretty, pretty far. Like, like really far. like and then focus it up and then if you need it to go even farther you put an extender and it doubles it so uh yeah this thing's crazy these cameras are extremely heavy and extremely expensive so we do our utmost best to make sure we treat them with care and respect over here we got pac-12's camera Pac-12, of course, broadcasting the game on television for you guys at home. Yeah, this is the rig they've got going on. Pretty industry standard. Looking good. Arguably, ours is looking better. I mean, you decide. But I'm a little biased. So right now, I'm just waiting for the director to come on and start doing his initial checks, make sure all the gear's working properly and connecting the control room how it should. Uh, so I'm just kind of hanging out right now, waiting. But while I do that, I usually just make sure all of my controls are set, all of my settings are good, all of the resistance um, for the pan and the tilt feel nice to me. It's uh, weighted properly, and so yeah, just kind of getting it all checked out. And then down there, down there, that little speck is the other operator. Well, one of the other operators, so. Yeah, we're all over, we got eyes everywhere. From that, our V1 shader will come on and we will white balance all of our cameras, make sure they have iris control and all the color control and they all look the same. And then from there, the director will come on and we run through the entire show. Little fun fact is everything with these football games is planned out to the minute. 
every sponsor read, every recognition we do on the field, every media timeout, when the team comes out of the tunnel, when the must has their flag go over them, all of this is planned. And so we go through and basically do an entire read through of the script. That way everybody knows what is happening. So for example, at the end of the first quarter, we do a Olympic cauldron lighting. And then at the end of the third quarter, we do a moment of loudness honoring the two players that tragically passed away last year, which is an incredible celebration. Absolutely incredible. Okay. <laughs> And so basically we just make sure everybody is aware of their specific assignments for the day, knows what is gonna be happening, when, and can start planning for what kind of shots we're gonna to need to get. Yeah, I already scouted them actually earlier today. Just got done with that pre-production meeting. Had the director talking to us, walking us through the show today, um, everything we got going on for that. So very productive, I'm ready to go. So now we get a little break, go eat some food, and then come back and get ready to watch a great game. So, free meal over, time to go back to the camera, get ready for the game, go through some uh, pre-game stuff with the director, start uh, getting my feel for the camera, dialed in, basically it's the best way to say it, get dialed in, and uh, be a good game, I'm ready. We shoot pre-game, we shoot warm-ups, we shoot all of the pre-recorded stuff that we end up playing later into the game. This is the Jumbotron. Yeah, it's pretty massive. But this is where my shots are gonna end up. It's up there, so that's pretty cool. Once the team comes out, we go live and the game starts. I run the high end zone camera. I'm in the red zone right below the big Jumbotron screen. So my responsibilities and assignments technically are field goals are all mine, a lot of fan shots and a lot of tight replay angles. Those are the three main things I focus on. I'm also just a camera there to do anything. I'm very versatile. I've got a big lens on it and I've got a good angle for most stuff. So I might be finding some fans that are gonna win a special prize. Like it could be absolutely anything, which makes it a lot of fun. It's never the same. So after the game, we go ahead and strike our gear, which means we're gonna pack everything up and then bring it back down to our storage area. We have to be very careful when packing up this gear because it is expensive and there's a lot of people and a lot can happen. So you gotta be on your A game throughout the entire game and even afterwards. So after we wrap our show, then we head home and that's kind of it. Indeed, that's kind of it. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. If you want me to do more videos about television production and broadcasting, totally can. Let me know, drop a like and a comment, and I will definitely do that. There's a lot more stuff I can go into in terms of the technical aspects, other jobs, I can do a tour of the control room. You know, if you want to see it, I'm glad to do it. But take care, I'll catch you later.